Now, local sports with Roger Wallace. Welcome back. Express opening their 11th year in Round Rock, first as an affiliate of the Texas Rangers. Opening night tonight, Bobby Jones, the skipper for the Express. Of course, he was with Oklahoma City last year. Taylor Teagarden back in Austin where he starred for the Longhorns and first run of the season. Played it by Chad Tracy. It was one to nothing. And then, well, the Express were down four to one when Louis Cruz hits the first of three Express home runs. The problem is Iowa just kept hitting as well. Brian LaHare with the long home run. This was a wild one. Just ended. Express lose 12 to nine. They'll play again tomorrow evening. Longhorns back in action tomorrow night. It's an away home series with Baylor tomorrow and Saturday in Waco. Sunday afternoon at the Dish, Horns are tied with A&M for first in the Big 12. Baylor, a three-way tie for fifth at four and five. Texas Relays underway. Speaking of A&M, they're the two-time defending outdoor champions in track and field, and they win the four by 800 relay today. And then the Open Division 800, and that's Olympian and former Longhorn Leo Manzano. He announced yesterday on Twitter that he was going to run in this event, usually his specialty a little longer. First lap of the 800, Leo back in the pack, and then Manzano just turns it on. Check out the kick. Leo sets a Texas Relays record, 147.89. For the win, more running tomorrow and then Saturday will be a huge day at Myers Track Stadium. UT assistant Rodney Terry introduced as the new head coach at Fresno State today. He's been at UT the past nine years alongside Rick Barnes. His college, or rather his total coaching career, be began back in 1991 as an assistant at Bowie High School. Ricky Williams was at an elementary school today, Sims Elementary School. It's part of his Ricky's Kids After School program that the Ricky Williams Foundation helps to fund. It's for kids to get a balance of after school activities, physical fitness, and homework. Ricky remembers his days as a kid coming home, throwing the backpack down, mom was at work, and he'd go play. Now a little more structure involved for the kids, thanks to the former Heisman Trophy winner. I think when I was young, like most young people, you know, I, I thought more about myself and less about others. And uh, and I look back and, and whether it's it's money, whether it's traveling, whether it's just experiences that I have a lot to offer and a lot to give and a lot to share. And so that's really been my main focus. And I found the more that I'm able to give, the more I'm, I receive. And, and I really, truly believe that. I feel good about it because I'm keeping up my grades and it's going to help me during my life. And when I grow up, I can make it through college and I can make it through what I need to make it through. We don't get paid really in off season anyway. And so for me, it's just a, an extended off season with more free time and and more responsibility as far as